um, years ago when I was working with a man named Alan Beardall, uh, he would ask you your uh, birth sign. And I said to him, why would I bother learning astrology? And he said, oh, I wouldn't. And I said, yeah, but why have you learned astrology? And he said, well, why I've learned astrology is uh, to see what a person has to overcome to become or, you know, he said, because his thing was uh, chiropractic health care, getting people over things. And he said, sometimes astrology figures in and you have to get them over certain things. And, and the uh, similar signs have similar dilemmas. And when I met Martin Sage, the man who taught me self-actualization learning technologies, uh, he looked at both the Eastern and Western. Uh, and actually, a really good book for that is, I think it's called The New Astrology by Suzanne White. And she mixes, there's 144 signs, 12 uh, Western, 12 Eastern. She mixes them all, and it, it's, it's pretty well done. Uh, I had lunch with her years ago in Mill Valley, California. Great gal. Uh, and it was a fun lunch and kind of an eccentric lunch, and uh, her car battery was dead, and we got jumper cables from two dinks after lunch, and dinks are dual income, no kids. You know, California people, fit and blonde, and their kids are their uh, golden retrievers. But uh, when I talk to Martin about uh, astrology, I say, you know, why look at astrology? And he said, well, he said, sometimes, he said, you'll get a indication of a person's uh, like their potential, like what would be fun for them, what would push them in a direction that would make their life magnificent. And I was flying from Houston to D.C., uh, got upgraded, was sitting in first class, got talking to a man, and he, we talked mostly the whole time about uh, food. <laughs> and I said, uh, excuse me, I said, are you born near the pig? And he said, I don't do that stuff. He said, but how would I know? I said, well, tell me what year you're born. He said, 1959. I said, yes, you're born a year of the pig. And I said, uh, he said, well, why would you ask me if I was born a year of the pig? And I said, well, the only thing we've talked about is uh, how you love food, how you love to cook food, how you uh, enjoy people eating your food. And I said, it's just sometimes people born a year of the pig really have that kind of tendency. And he, I said, and I said, you've got uh, stains in front of you all down the front of your shirt, and he did. He said, there were four or five stains on it. He goes, oh yeah, yeah, he said, that one's, oh, that's the really good sauce from, uh, they, it was at this restaurant, and it was a tomato sauce. Oh, that was so good. And this one, and I said, sorry, but that's another thing. I said, most pigs know exactly what the stains are. They don't only really have them, but they know exactly where they got the stains and the taste of the food, etc. Now, I got to D.C., told a friend of mine who wanted to be a restaurateur about this man. He said, oh, he should open a restaurant. And I said to this man, while we were talking, I said, about the last thing you would want to do is open a restaurant, right? And he said, oh, God. And he said, so many people eat my food and so many people say you should open a restaurant. And he said, it's, he said, I would never do it. He said, I can't imagine having to cook. I love to cook. Find out what you love doing. Find out whether you want to do it for a living or a hobby uh, and start doing it. Your life will work better uh, and you'll enjoy it more. Hmm. www.micpeakperformance.com